Then it's code in the day to give the keyboard a punch. Wow. Then cross, correlate, and a break for some lunch. Wow. Correlate, tabulate, process, and screen. Wow. Program, print out, regress to the mean. And it's oh boys, can't you code it? <laughs> Program it right. Nothing ever happens in the Another method for getting your data into Stata is when you have your, your data in an ASCII file and you're going to import it into Stata. I have a couple of files in this directory on my desktop called read underscore data. You can see they are gss-comma.raw, gss-comma-novar, novar.raw. So these are two ASCII files and what that means there's no binary code in them. They were entered in a text editor, something like Notepad. I use an editor that's a little bit better than Notepad, actually quite a bit better than Notepad. It can handle large files, but you get the idea. You can't use this for importing data that are saved in a uh, Microsoft Word file or a Corel WordPerfect file. I'm going to go ahead and just copy the directory here. I'm going to right click and copy so that when I go into my Stata program, I can um, just change to that default directory. I'll start my Stata 13. And here we are. So down in the command window then I'll type in CD and the name of the directory. I just pasted it in and we can see that I've now turned to my default directory. I'm going to issue the DIR command to see the files and there they are. And there's one more command I'm going to show you if you want to see the contents of a file, particularly ASCII files or text files, I can just type them out. So we can see that in this file, the first line contains the variable names, sex, race, age, and education, and that the next five lines contain my data, uh, the female for the first case, one for race, 47 for age, and 20 for education, and they are delimited or separated by commas. The two most typical delimiters in data sets are commas like this or tabs. Tabs are typically found when you copy data or export data from a spreadsheet. But they also, a lot of data sets actually come in those formats. And you'll find some other data sets that are formatted with other characters, like a vertical bar or an X. Those are all legal delimiters. And in the import delimited command, which you can look for in the help file, you can see how to change the delimiter, delimiter to some other character. So this is probably our easiest file to bring in. The command we're going to use here is import delimited. And this command is new in Stata 13, and it replaces the InSheet command in earlier versions of Stata. InSheet will still work, but it won't be updated. And import delimited is now the official command. So in its simplest use, is this command, import delimited using, and then the name of the file that's on my drive. Because I've already changed the default directory, I don't have to specify the whole uh, drive structure. And we can see that it read in four variables, five observations. It's uh, understood that the first line are the variable names, and it's using them. And I can list my data and describe them. Okay, so that's method number one. Data sit in an external file. First line of the data set is uh, variable names, and all of your data are delimited by some kind of delimiter, in this case, commas. I'm going to clear this data set, and let's take a look at the second data set. And we can see that it's the exact same data, but here there's only five lines. And we don't have that first line telling us what the variable names are called. So I'm going to use page up to come back to the first command. And I'm just going to edit this command to change the name of the file. Again, four vars, five observations. Because Stata didn't, um, doesn't know the names of the variables, it has its own default naming conventions. The first variable is called v1, and it just sequentially names them v1, v2, v3, and v4. Which isn't too bad, but at this point I'd have a little more work to change these uh, stated default variable names into something more meaningful for my work. But nonetheless, the data are in Stata. 
clear this data set. We have one more way of using import delimited, and that is we can use the import delimited and enter all of the um, variable names on the command line. So I could type, for example, there's my list of variables. And there's my data set, the one that doesn't have the variable names in it. And there we go. So uh, to summarize, when do we use this import the limited command in Stata? If you have your data in an ASCII text file that sits outside of Stata and it's delimited, preferably with a comma or a tab, but any delimiter can be programmed into Stata and you'd have to read the help file for the details on that. If you have any questions or comments, please send me an email or give me a call and I will do my best to answer them. And it's code in the D to give the keyboard a punch. Wow. Then cross, correlate, and a break for some lunch. Wow. Correlate, tabulate, process, and screen. Wow. Program, print out, regress to the mean. And it's old oh, boys, can't you code it? Whoop. Program it right. Nothing ever happens here.